The following footage documents the recent happenings at the Mount Sinai Center in Namibia, a non-profit care center for parents and children who are victims of HIV AIDS. My name is Kristaline uh, Becker Biat. I'm the founder of Mount Sinai Center. As you can see here, we are standing in front of Mount Sinai Center in Namibia. I'm just here all to tell you about what I did here because I put a new sunboard. And on this uh, new sunboard, you can see I put there my major sponsors. So they are major sponsors of Mount Sinai Center. Included, as you can see, is the Spanish government, the Standard Bank, uh, Standard Bank of Namibia, and the Emmanuel TV partners. I am so grateful, and the grace of God is upon me, myself as a widow, and upon this center, Mount Sinai Center. Because I traveled from Namibia to go to Lagos to seek the help of men of God, because I see how he is helping widows, widowers, orphans, vulnerable children, physical challenged people. And I went there as a widow who was facing a lot of problems. Problems that faced me was like even uh, to lose my house. Because since my husband died, I could not afford to pay my, to pay my house account. My children, I could not help them even with their school fees. They were almost also set out from uh, school. And it was terrible. The center itself was also in a situation, a very, very difficult situation. And it, by faith, I got that courage to go and visit men of God, TB Joshua and Emmanuel in Lagos to seek for help. When I went there for the first time, it was in March. Government organization can give you $100,000. Emmanuel TV partner, let us come together and support this NGO. $20,000. Thank you, man of God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Man of God opened his hands and he donated 20000 for Mount Sinai Center so that we can come and take care of the children here. Thank you, man of God. Thank you, Emmanuel TV. This is a big, big blessing for us. I'm here now to present on behalf of all the HIV positive mothers and their babies and children of Mount Sinai Center from Namibia. This is a very, very, very big blessing for us. I don't even know what to say because I, I don't know whether I'm, am I dreaming or I don't know. But this is a great, great, great blessing for us. Thanks, Jesus. I came back to Namibia. I came and set up that hall there. And I, I put a hall where we watch Manuel TV. And then a kindergarten, the other side also, we put, a, we put a kindergarten. Usually when the beneficiaries are coming here, they will stand in the sun and it was hot, rainy. It was terrible. But now we have a shade, we have the hall, and then we have the kindergarten. Glory be to God. Here we can see the shade net, which has been put up to provide protection for the people from the harsh heat of the sun. Let's continue to listen to her as she explains further how God has provided for the center. These things were empty, but when we came from the synagogue, we managed even to buy a lot of food for our children also, especially those ones who are on ear agreement and the children who are on milk, because this is the aim of Mount Sinai Center to take care of all these children by God's grace, by the donations that we were supported by Prophet T.B. Joshua, we managed really to get some food here. As you can see, I put even our blessing here. The whole world must know about the greatness of God and how the Prophet T.B. Joshua from Zidabok, Church of All Nations, how he will change this whole world. He's not just taking care of the Nigerians, but the whole world. Because I'm talking, as I'm talking, I'm in Namibia now. I'm in, in Namibia. The commandment and rule given to us by God Almighty in the Word of God is that we should love our neighbor as we love ourselves, irrespective of age, gender, or nationality, because we have all been created in the image of God. So let us love one another by helping those who are in need. And now last a week ago, I went back 
to synagogue to show men of God what I did with the fundings that they gave us. After receiving $20,000 from Mount Sinai Center, Mrs. Crystalline later returned to the Synagogue Church of All Nations with a report of how she used the donation and one further request. Why I am here now is to hand over Mount Sinai Center to men of God, Prophet T.B. Joshua and Emmanuel TV, and to let everybody know that I used to follow people who could not help me. And I know by giving this sender in the hands of men of God, many children in need will be helped. So it is our privilege on behalf of Prophet TB Joshua and Emmanuel TV to present the Mount Sinai Center with the sum of 20,000 US dollars. And this is the very money. And that is not all, but seeing as you have expressed your desire to resign from your employment and take up this assignment at the Mount Sinai Center full-time. Prophet T.B. Joshua is ready to support you in that and employ you full-time with a monthly salary of 500 U.S. dollars. And here is four months of your salary in advance to join this work. Instead of the $300 that you've previously received as part of your nursing salary. And that is not the last thing. The Prophet also is reimbursing the money you paid for your flight ticket, your accommodation and your expenses here in Nigeria. And this is that gift of $1,548. Thank you, Jesus. I have never, never in my life since I started Mount Sinai Center in 2003 experienced such a blessing. This is just from God. And I, I thank the Almighty God. It's the grace of God for me to come and really and introduce the whole world to tell them that men of God, when I went now, he also opened his, his hands to take care of me as a widow. Because I almost lost my house because I have a lone home. But since my husband died, I could not pay off this house. And as I'm saying now, it is in the hands of the bank. They want to take it. But when I went to men of God to tell him about my situation where I am, he said, no. Don't worry now because Emmanuel TV and Prophet TV Joshua are going to take care of you. We will give you the salary, we will pay for your children's school fees, and we will take care of Mount Sinai Center at large. So this is the greatness of God. And I, my conscience is telling me that Emmanuel TV partners, they are there for me as a widow who is taking care of many many vulnerable children affected and affected by HIV and AIDS. So I just here, just to show you the whole world, to know that I will hand in this Mount Sinai Center in the hands of Emmanuel partners. Because no one, no one could think about me to tell me that they will even give me a salary and for me to be at the center and take care of the vulnerable children children affected and infected by HIV and, and AIDS while I'm here. So it was very, very, very difficult for me to divide myself, to go to the hospital as a nurse and to come to the center to take care of the center and to take care of my own, own children. I thank you and we bless the Lord and we say glory be to God, the Almighty who made things which was so tough with my life to make it so easy for me now I will just be here at Mount Sinai Center taking care of what God wants me to do. Full with the joy of how God has taken over their problems, to celebrate Christ's giving spirit, the Mount Sinai Center throw a Christmas party for all their beneficiaries. To enjoy our Christmas party as we are blessed by the men of God, Prophet E.P. Joshua and Emmanuel T. To get the party started, Crystalline hands out gorgeous Christmas meals provided by TB Joshua and the Emmanuel TV partners to each of the children under the canopies, making sure that no one is left out.
The kids dig in hungrily to the food, greatly enjoying their party. What a lovely treat for Christmas. See how just a little gift can put a quality smile on someone else's face, or in this case, a whole lot of faces. Crystalline and some of her helpers hand out more of the meals to the parents seated inside the center's meeting hall with their babies, and everyone is having a really good time. But that was not the end of the occasion. Next, a big Christmas cake was brought out, bearing the words, Thank you, Emmanuel TV and Prophet TB Joshua. Crystalline then cut the big cake into large slices for everybody and handed them all out. The cake goes down really well, enjoyed by both the mothers and their children. When this little guy saw the cake, there was no messing about for him. Everyone was satisfied by the lovely occasion, and with the Christmas party drawing to a close, Crystalline had yet another surprise for the beneficiaries. A Christmas present to take away. The children line up to receive their gift of a bag filled with healthy fruit juice, apples, oranges, food, snacks, and most importantly, a cool toy car for the boys or doll for the girls to take home with them. When we give for God's sake, we're not only meeting the needs of God's people, but at the same time creating an outpouring of gratitude to God for His provision. Giving in this manner actually benefits and enriches the giver, reminding us of the words of our Lord Jesus Christ, that it is more rewarding to give than to receive. Each of the children, after receiving their gift, gleefully examine their bags to see what they've got inside. Before they go, they sing songs of worship to God, celebrating the love of Jesus Christ. The party is over, and the mothers and children leave the Mount Sinai Center with their gifts in hand, as they make their way home, happy and satisfied. To God be the glory. You are about to watch the testimony of one of the many beneficiaries from Mount Sinai Center, whose life was changed. This young mother was provided with a shelter for her and her children to sleep in. And as I said, we are taking care of this HIV positive mother. Yeah, Ma, uh, Mount Sinai Center, with the help of um, Prophet TB Joshua in Emmanuel TV, we are about to set up a place, a place for this mother who is a beneficiary of Mount Sinai Center. She is a mother with twins, but these twins were times three, which means she's having six children and all were twins. And she doesn't have a place to stay. And uh, she is the beneficiary of Mount Sinai Center with her twins. Tomorrow everything will be finalized. Construction workers come together to construct the shelter that will house this young family. Uh, I'm uh, Crystalline Becker Biat from Mount Sinai Center. And I'm a partner of uh, Emmanuel TV. And we are here now at Okuriangaba. We call this area Okuriangaba came here to say thanks to the Almighty God who did a great things in our life with our mother, Sophia. How are you, my dear? Fine, fine, thank you. Okay, we just come to see how far was the shelter done. As promised, the shelter is finished and ready to be the new home for Sophia and her children, taking them off the streets. As the Emmanuel TV team follows Sophia into the shelter, another surprise awaits her. Essential provisions and food have also been donated by TB Joshua and the Emmanuel TV partners. A look around reveals a new bed and bedding, a dressing table and drawers for storing her clothes. This is a huge contrast to the homeless life she has been living. Sophia picks up and shows photographs of her six children, 
three sets of twins who will also benefit from the generous gift of TB Joshua and the Emmanuel TV partners. My name is Sophia and my surname is Carices. Almost these whole years, I was not having a safe place to stay, even to sleep. I was suffering a lot. And I'm also one of the beneficiary of Mount, Sinai, Mount of Sinai. Through Mount Sinai, God is so good and God is so great. God is so good all the times. And I say thank you to Prophet, to Emmanuel TV partners. I say really thank you. And as you see here, I was also not having a bed, even a bed to sleep. I was sleeping on the floor these whole years. And he sent for me. This is the bed which I received, the blankets and what, everything. I say thank you very much. TV We are not just here to give food or the other stuff that you see here. Also to give the word of God, which is internal for all of us. I'm having here the Bible. It is in Afrikaans because Sophia can read Afrikaans. And I'm sure, Sophia, this is what we have to follow the yes. word of God for the rest of our lives. Yes. In the name of Jesus, I give yes. you this Bible and we have to live according to the word of God. Yes. A copy of the Holy Bible is also given to Sophia with an encouragement to make God's word the standard for her life. Glory be to God. Shedding tears of joy, Sophia is overcome at the surprise provision of a home for her family. Now they are part of a community. Truly, her past is over. Emmanuel! My name is Kristalin Becker Piat from Namibia, a nurse by profession and a founder of Mount Sinai Center. So I am here to glorify the name of God. So what happened is that truly the center was in a crisis. Since the beginning it was a crisis. Challenges was there. Me as a widow, I could not afford to help myself and I could not afford to, to help the sender. But to the greatness of God, a friend of mine who introduced me to Emmanuel TV, she came and she told me, and she said, you have to have this decoder because you will be strong in faith after your husband's death. This is what I did. I got that uh, decoder of Emmanuel TV. And then I start watching, praying, exercising my faith doing what men of God said on television, and I did exercise it. It happens that really it was a crisis, challenges, and one of my sister-in-laws came to visit Lagos. When she came, I sent her with a prayer request, I sent her with pictures, and I said, take it to men of God, because in the situation where I am, it's terrible. When my sister-in-law came here, really it was a breakthrough, through the prayers which I have received from here and the faith that I had also together and we had a breakthrough and the sender was blessed. When I came to testify now about that blessing that I got, a man of God opened his hands and he donated us with the 10,000, you saw it there on the screen, 20,000 US dollars and that money, I took it with my heart and I said I will go back home and I have to do the job what God wants me to do with this money. When I went there at the center, I set up a kindergarten. Why? Because since the existence of Mount Sinai Center, so far, we have 600, 616 children whom we discharged. They remain HIV negative because of the help they receive from Mount Sinai Center, not to, to breastfeed, but to take formula milk. And as I'm talking now, Mount Sinai Center is having 364 children, and it will continue having children to take himself. And then, now in December, I came back again, I said, oh no, I have to go to men of God. I have to go and tell him that I cannot do it alone, I need help. So I came, and I speak to men of God, I told him about my situation, and really, he, I, I even hand over the center, I said, men of God, I want to hand over Mount Sinai Center in the hands of men of God, and in the hands of Mumano TV, because I cannot do it alone. He really opened his hands, he said, and it is again a 20,000 that he gave me, 
uh, US dollars, and then my man of God paid for my salary from December up to March. He will pay my salaries now for the rest of my life. And man of God paid my ticket, he paid my accommodation. Man of God, he gave me another 2,000 again. Man, I don't know what to say, but God bless me through the man of God, and I'm no more the same. What I can tell you, my life changed. Life within seconds, turns and I'm someone else, and I'm positioned now. Because I have a passion of these children, I don't want to see children remaining with HIV, because God protected them. Why can't we not protect them? Because to protect them is just to give them meal, and you stop to give them breastfeeding. I don't want to see a child remaining with HIV, that's why really it is my passion, and I want to see each and every child negative from this disease. And I thank God for that. Thank you. And uh, let me start giving thanks to those who start to be true. The big minds of the Spanish government, we had really started the work before. Maybe the area may have used them. So the big time, I will continue to pray for them. Presenting to you on behalf of the man of God, Prophet TB Joshua and Emmanuel TV, the sum of 10,000 US dollar, as promised by the man of God, Prophet TB Joshua, when you are explaining to him how his ministry has impacted your life. Uh, my name is Crystalline Veka Biat from Mount Sinai Center, Namibia. I'm the founder. I am here really to thank the man of God for what is continuing blessing Mount Sinai Center. He's really opening his hands, his heart, his love to all the children in need. And he's not just doing it for Nigeria. He's doing it for the whole world. As I'm soaking here, I'm from Namibia, and he's really continuing blessing me, continuing blessing Mount Sinai Center. This is really the greatness of God. And for me, I really, words are too short to say, because what he has done and continued doing I will just give us the Almighty God 
so that he can take care of him, so that he must live long, to live long for the nation in this world. He is our father. And I know if I go back now even to Namibia and I show all the children again of what the man of God has done in their life, that will bring happiness in them again. 50,000 US dollars in a period of just uh, a week, just a small period. This is, this is great because I nearly missed my focus. What happened is what I, 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 I divided myself nursing and then to the center. And this was very difficult. I could not even take care of the children in a proper way. But now, man of God came and he just put me, this was one of my biggest, biggest desire to be there so that I must have my focus and to take more, more uh, care of many children who are in need. Really, I don't know how to say thanks to daddy. He is my father and he will be my father forever and the father of Mount Sinai Center. Can you tell us how do you think this uh, 10,000 US dollar will impact uh, at the, the center, most especially the children and their parents? Oh, especially like now, this is the time where the children have to go to school. This 10,000 US dollars will bring a big impact also in Mount Sinai Center and we are grateful. With what the Lord has done through the ministry of Prophet T.B. Joshua, what word of advice do you have for people listening to you, most especially those that may be watching what the Lord has done for the first time through uh, the man of God, Prophet T.B. Joshua and Emmanuel TV, imparting your life and also this center? I want to tell everyone around there who is listening now, don't close your eyes to the needy ones. Don't close your ears. Listen their cry. Go out, look around you, and see. Don't close your eyes. See them and help them. Wherever you are finding yourself with these people and you help them, you will be blessed by the Almighty God too. In other words, you are encouraging people to walk in love because love looks around and sees those who are in need. We thank God Almighty for what the Lord has done through the man of God and Emmanuel TV impacting your life, also changing the life of these children. We want to encourage you that you should continue to follow Christ Jesus in spirit and in truth by making his word the standard for your life. And we know that this is the beginning of the blessings of God in your life and into the life of these children in this center. We pray that the Lord God Almighty will continue to guide you and the children in Jesus' name. Thank you.